the ANC Women's League painted themselves into a corner by advancing the debate for a female ANC president. Three of its members have put up their hands set to lead the party, which could further influence factional lines. At least one analyst believes the de development is a both a good and bad story to tell. The ANC leadership race has been thrown wide open. Unprecedented six ANC presidential hopefuls. Three males and three females. Horses have bolted. They are running all over the field. And they are accepting uh, nominations all over. But nomination will start in September. Either way, certainly a bit late to close the stable doors. ANC women who have held high-ranking positions are racing for the grand prize in December. There is no way I can refuse the responsibility given by the ANC. So whatever way I can still serve with what's left of my life, I'm too happy to do it. They've been asking me to stand. I want them to understand that we stand together. Should they meet their threshold in December, it will be the first time a female contests the presidential position. The highest positions ANC female nominees have contested are Deputy President. Winnie Matikizela Mandela in 1997, taking on Jacob Zuma, a post she then declined. And Nkosa Zanadla Zuma in 2007, who lost out to Khalema Mutlante. As it stands, the ANC Women's League faces a conundrum. It has endorsed Lamini Zuma, but two members from its own ranks also want to lead. It makes it difficult to advance, let's say, Nkosa Zana Lamini Zuma on the basis of a gender principle. Because otherwise, you, the Women's League is saying that the other two are not women enough. Does this divide the vote for a female president? But let's pause for a second and imagine an ANC under its first female president, which she have been dealt a bad hand. The context is not one for someone to shine with immediate effect. Uh, you, you might find that by the time she turned things around, she is leaving office at the end of the second term. So I think for me, my problem is to suddenly throw this identity-based presidential candidate when the country is going through some serious hard times. Why must women inherit chaos? Male or female, the road ahead will be tough. Aldrin Simpia, SABC News, Johannesburg.